Okay, good morning everyone. Um, welcome back. Um, this is our third lesson for our book five. Beautiful sunny day today outside. Um, you'll notice that Professor Bones has um, come with us and joined us again today and he's at the moment having a bit of a sweet tooth and we've got um, Miss Bunny here who's also working alongside us today. So hopefully you've had a good um, couple of days since I saw you last. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue with question 50 and we're having a look at some mixed questions that we're looking at. So let's refresh our memory about what we talked about last lesson that we had. We spoke about differentiating and we spoke about the idea of the ability to differentiate using our formula sheet to differentiate. Um, identifying a chain rule, a function inside a function, identifying a product rule when we're multiplying two functions together and we can't expand or simplify. And then we talked about the quotient rule when we're dividing one function by another. Again, the very first step is to make sure that we try and simplify um, the expression or equation that we have and then apply the necessary rule. So if we have a quick look here at 11 um, L, what we notice here is that um, we cannot factorize that, okay? So we can't factorize x squared plus 2 and we can't eliminate this. So what we're going to do is we're going to let, um, yeah. we're going to let um, u be our numerator and v is going to be our denominator. So we remind ourselves that when we look at the quotient rule, if we have u over v and we are differentiating our function with respect to x, order is important here. So what we have is we have u times du dx minus, sorry, correction, make that look a little bit more like the proper one, v times du dx minus u times dv dx, and we're dividing all of that by our v squared. So we identify this, we can see that du dx is going to be equal to 2 times x and dv dx is going to be equal to 1. So we put our values in, so dy dx here is equal to our v value which is x minus 1 times our du dx which is 2x minus our u value, which is x squared plus 2, times our dv dx, which is 1. And we're dividing all of that by our x minus 1, all squared. So you notice that we have v du dx u dv dx over v squared. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. And if this is a one mark question, just that in itself is going to give you the mark. You don't need to simplify it or expand brackets or collect like terms or anything like that because that ends up being just a waste of time. And in an exam, time is very, very important. Okay, so I will, however, at this point here, I will expand that. So what we've got is 2x squared minus 2x minus x squared minus 2. And I'm not going to expand the denominator, I'm just going to collect my like terms. All right, so when we're having a look at that, a reminder, identify your numerator as a u value, your denominator as a v value, get your derivatives of that and look up your formula sheet. You'll have that in exam one and in exam two, so you don't need to remember the formula, although it probably would be a good idea that you did. Thank you.